Hello, my name is Don and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about a 28 inch Green Mountain stainless steel bull barrel. You're not gonna to wanna to miss this one. Stay tuned. All right, guys, uh, yeah, like I said, um, this is a 28 inch stainless steel Green Mountain bull barrel. Uh, I've been pretty impressed with this thing so far. I've only shot it at 50 yards, but I mean, this thing stacks them. It loves the rifle match, uh, and I've had really good results with the uh, Lapua long range match also. Um, I kind of got turned on to this barrel over a year ago, uh, and I've heard such good things about these things, and I've been wanting to buy one. I had, uh, a call I placed a back order with Green Mountain long long time ago and they finally got them back in and I just got mine yesterday and <laughs> this was actually supposed to be part of a summit uh, Volkortz and Summit build um, but I did not have very good results with that summit this same barrel uh, on that summit action couldn't shoot better than I think it was 0.67 at 50 yards. That's as good as it would shoot. Uh, I'll, I'll post some targets up uh, right here, I suppose. Um, so I put this in the uh, in a regular Brownells BR22 receiver, Brownells bolt, and this thing's a hammer at 50 yards. I don't know what it's gonna do at 100 or 200, and we're gonna find out today. The wind is, uh, it's not ideal, but we're gonna give it a shot anyway. We are fairly protected uh, where I'm shooting. Uh, there's a bit of a wind, but it's not horrible. Uh, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna shoot some 50 yard groups. We're gonna shoot some 100 yard groups. And then hopefully if the wind doesn't pick up any more than it is right now, we'll try some at 200, but you know, I don't want to, um, misrepresent what this barrel can do with a on a windy day because i really think this thing's going to be a hell of a shooter all right so now this is lapua long range and uh 50 yards starting on the top left all right Actually, I think we need to make this go down here. Here we go. All right, we good. I'll take it. All right, well, let me go down. We'll measure those things up and I'll get right back to you. All right, here we go for score. Starting on the left, the second row, small dot. Sixty-two. One thousand fifty-six. 
1066. One thousand sixty. One thousand fifty nine. Damn, that's awesome. One thousand forty four. One thousand forty nine. One thousand sixty six. One thousand sixty seven. One thousand seventy two. So that one flyer is going to kill that. That sucks. I'm going to throw one more round in there just to see what it what it'll do. Just curious. Yeah, that had that one that dropped low was 1044. The rest were in about the mid 1060s. So, um I'm going to shoot I'm going to shoot one more group with the 15 rounder. Well, something happened there. Look at that. Maybe it did to that bullet. What happened? Seems to be happening with this magazine. Let's uh, go back to these 10 rounders. They didn't do it near as much as that uh, 15 is. I don't like using the 15s because they're they're problems. All right. One thousand sixty-five. One thousand sixty. Well. One thousand sixty. One thousand forty-seven. One thousand fifty-one. Them flyers are crazy. The barrel's shooting pretty darn good, except for a couple flyers. But uh, all right, I'll get right back to you. All right, guys, I never really gave you a rundown on the rifle. Of course, this is the Oryx chassis. We've got the Brownells BR-22 receiver and bolt. We're using an Arkin EP-5. Um, actually, a, these are Monstrum rings. They're medium 34 millimeter rings. And I tell you what, they're like 30 bucks and they're solid. Uh, I They look a lot like the Arkin rings, um, a lot like them but they're about half as much money and they hold up really good so i haven't had any problems with them crushing the tubes or anything like that uh pretty good quality ring for the money i'll uh, leave a link in the description um kid two stage trigger and of course the green mountain 28 inch stainless barrel uh so we're out here at 200 yards and uh i'm gonna shoot uh a couple 10 shot groups and probably a 10 shot um cider so usually I am around seven, around seven mils to uh, make an accurate shot. So, all right, here we go, 200 yards. 1,055. 1,069. 1,070. Hi. 1,051. Wow, this is all over the place. 1,061, 1,056, 1,054, 1,058, 1,060, 1,067. It looked like my velocities were really good. Yeah, 1,060 average, extreme spread of 23 and a standard deviation of seven. Um, it should be patterning better than that and Looks to me like I'm a bit all over. All right, guys, I'm gonna go down. We'll measure things up and then I'll get right back to you. So it's funny, I could almost have told you what was gonna happen before I even started this video because I've played this song before. 
every one of these barrels that I've tested almost does this identically. It doesn't matter the, the brand of the barrel. Uh, it doesn't matter what stock they're in or what trigger they're in. This is the performance that I get out of each and every one of my 1022s. Seems like I've been looking for a silver bullet, uh, something that's going to, you know, step up the accuracy. Uh, so I've tried different triggers. I tried different barrels. I've tried different chassis. I've, you know, I, I've done all the little modifications to the magazines, to the bolt, to everything. I've done, I've done it all. And this is pretty much the results that I get every single time. Now, I just got done doing the 24-inch uh, Green Mountain barrel video, and I went on the uh, other end of the spectrum as far as ammunition went. Uh, what we did is I went out to 200 and I started at 200 yards instead of starting at 50 and seeing what shot good here and then taking that to 100 and then to 200. Uh, oftentimes I found myself when I got out to 200 I was uh, less than less than pleased with the results so I figured I'd start out at 200 this time and I took everything out there uh, we took out the Lapua we took out uh, all the match ammunitions I had all the non-match ammunitions I had and it turns out uh, the one that shot the best out of this 24 inch rifle was the Ely Contact at five bucks a box. Now, did I get a few flyers uh, in that test? Yeah, we got a few flyers, but we got flyers with the Lapua too. Um, I think you're gonna be pretty surprised at the results of that, uh, uh, that test next week that I'll be releasing. Uh, but yeah, guys, it, this, this seems to be, you know, the same song over and over again. Uh, these aren't bolt guns. Uh, when, when you start going out past 100 yards, you really start to see the accuracy fall off because these little flyers at 100 pretty much double in size, if not triple in size, when you get out to 200. Um, and you're gonna get flyers with this platform. It's just a fact of life. Uh, there's so much going on in that action it, that uh, that action really beats that bullet up before it ever gets into the chamber. Uh, and 22 will take some abuse, but um, you know, it's gonna cause flyers and you know That's why I always tell people guys if you're gonna build a rifle for long range Build a bolt gun build a CZ you can build a nice CZ with Elijah barrel Timony trigger a decent chassis For a tad bit more money than you can build one of these believe it or not uh, So I'd be looking into that if you're looking to build something uh, for long range because the results and the consistency is just so much better with the bolt gun So you might be saying to yourself that thing shoots about the same as my 20 inch. Why do I need a 28 inch? Let me show you It balances great and I'm way in front of the uh, the magazine uh, Well, so your 15 round where it comes forward a little bit is not going to be a problem. I mean, this thing balances ridiculously well. Even if I take, I mean, the magazine's right here, guys. Uh, so even if I take uh, the bipod off, now it doesn't balance this well without the bipod on there. Uh, we are getting a little bit more weight, but I'm still way in front of the uh, the magazine well even without the bipod on there, but I can go a lot further uh, forward with the bipod on. Uh, but that's it, that's all I got for you guys. So if you like what you saw, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you like what I'm doing here, go down there and smash that subscribe button. I can't build this channel without you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.